Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I'm about to go through some old elk here, including the $150 Infinity Blend. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Giddy up. So, Old Elk, the architect behind Old Elk is Greg Metz. Greg Metz is the former master distiller of MGP. Uh, one of the greatest moments of my career was when I got the opportunity to bring Greg outside of like the shadows of MGP, the secret distillery. In 2013, nobody, nobody knew about MGP. Then I brought Greg in on the stage, wrote about him in Whiskey Advocate, uh, did a, a photo essay of him, and told the world about this incredible master distiller making all this rye whiskey that nobody really knew. Now, I've got links in the in the description so you can read some of those older stories of mine but that's truly one of the greatest moments of my career because i love introducing people to those behind the product and not necessarily those who are branding it so greg uh, breaks away from mgp and uh starts on in colorado at old elk now old elk has uh, a lot of capital behind it. It's got some. Uh, it's got some good business acumen behind it. But at the end of the day, the person behind this whiskey is Greg Metz, and I am just a big Greg Metz fan. I always will be. He's a great, great distiller and an even better human being. Now, this bottle here is $150. I am fascinated with it because that's kind of like the price point where people are now like the now this has a composite of six 12 and 11 year old bourbons in it but 150 dollars seems to be what people are willing to spend um, that's a little bit outside of the comfort zone normally but people are willing to spend it it does come in this nice little fancy box i've got some close-ups of that and i generally think boxes are just kind of uh, a waste of money with um, with distilled spirits, but I do like a handful of them. I love the Booker's box. The Booker's box to me is, is fantastic. And I actually do like this box because of, it adds a lot of uh, important details here. And it's got a little, it's got a little pull out. Ooh, I like that. I can use that for a project at home with my kid, you know, probably do some kind of volcano with it in some way. Um, but, you know, also today, in addition to the Infinity uh, blend. I have got a uh, private barrel from the San Francisco Wine Trading Company. Somebody out there sent this to me. I can't remember who, but I've had a sip of this before. It's fantastic. And then the standard Old Elk. The standard Old Elk is something that I have in my private, uh, my private tastings, and it is a fantastic, fantastic pour, especially for the money. So I'm going to just kind of jump right into it. And um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the standard, the standard old elk. The standard old elk to me is slowly becoming a, uh, a must have like everyday whiskey. Like this is, uh, you know, for the money, it's got a lot of complexities that you want. It's got, uh, it's got like this beautiful nose of tobacco. I used to chew tobacco. I love, the, I love smoking cigars. Uh, and the, the, this this t tobacco nose is is layered. It's a pipe. It's chewing tobacco. It's cigar tobacco. It's it's very nice. And then we taste the palate. Really, there's got some nice notes of banana. There's like a custard in here. Um, there is a lovely raisin bread. It's uh, got notes of caramel. While I'm talking, it is still finishing. This is a very, very good for the money product. Uh, I would be, I mean, this is, this is a gotta be in the rotation of the $40, you know, under 40, depending on your market. But one of the things that, you know, we have to be upfront about this is that this is not a bourbon proper. What I mean by this, that this is a blend of straights. So that means that they are acquiring stocks from various states and blending them in Colorado. 
There's nothing wrong with that. It's completely legal within the confines, but I like to point that out. There is a difference. If you want to learn more about the types of bourbon and, and the where they kind of vary, I mean, my book, Bourbon Curious, notates that. You'll also find a lot of resources on the web. Believe it or not, I think Reddit is one of the better resources on the web for a whiskey drinker. I don't even go on Reddit, but uh, when I do go on there, I do notice how well educated the people are. Uh, okay, so now I am going to uh, taste the uh, the Cash Drink Behemoth, the Weeded Bourbon from the San Francisco Wine Trading Company. Again, apologies for whoever sent this and uh, it just got on my tasting shelf and I'm just now, I, I think I tasted it once before in a, in a, in a live stream tasting where I was tasting a bunch of stuff. <laughs> One of those kinds of nights, if you know what I mean. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Molasses fig. Oh, that's gorgeous. Tobacco. I mean, is tobacco the quintessential nose for Old Elk? I don't know. That's a pretty nose. On the palate, it's cola, it's um, that fig note is there, uh, there's a little bit of um, brown sugar, um, there's, um, this is going to sound weird because I don't think I've ever called this out in a whiskey before, I have in wine, but there's like an olive oil note in this as well, like a like a very rich olive oil. Uh, in that same kind of line, there's a balsamic vinaigrette, vinegar note there. Uh, this is uh, this is definitely taking uh, a step out on the limb here, being very different but very good at the same time. Um, yeah, unique, uh, unique, and uh, I dare I dare say it's it's quite tasty. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this fits in the profile of uh, of what the standard uh, tasted like. So now I'm going to jump into I'm going to jump into the uh, the Infinity Blend. It's a really beautiful nose. So the first thing that I notice is that it overwhelms the mid and the back palate. Um, and at the same time, it kind of leaves the front of the palate alone. So that, that is a bit disturbing to me. I want to be able to, I want to be able to feel, if I'm spending $150 on a whiskey, I want to be able to feel it really kind of all over the place or be so dominant and beautiful on one section of the palette that um, it overwhelms me. Once again, there is almost no amplification on the front of the palate. Um, it's mid palate centric and back palate centric. So it's lighting up the spice areas, it's lighting up the savory areas. And even when I put, um, put the concentration on the tip of my tongue, uh, I'm not getting anything really showing there. Um, so even like, the entry level Old Elk, which is a standard forty dollar product, is you know hits more points on the palate uh, than the than the, the the limited edition version, the um, Infinity Blend, uh, and, and I don't feel I don't feel like 
the palette is really kind of jumping out and, and, and taking control or, or grabbing me. Uh, the finish is also quite a bit short. While the nose may have changed uh, with a little bit of oxygen, uh, the palette is most certainly not, is not living up to expectations for me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna retaste the the entry level old elk, which ironically is out of a Four Roses glass right now. Look, is the Infinity Blend better? Then the entry level, absolutely, absolutely it is. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's a hundred dollars better. Um, and, and and I don't think that the that the old Elk Infinity Blend is is something that is going to be is going to be better than a. Uh, Four Roses, you know, I'm only bringing up Four Roses because this is in a Four Roses glass, but then like a Four Roses single barrel or a Woodford Reserve Double Oak or what's another one that's in that 60 to 80 price point? Old Forester 1920. Uh, rare breed. I mean, I just, I can, go, the list can go on and on and on and on. Uh, I mean, I'm buying a lot of products ahead of, of the uh, Old Elk uh, Infinity Blend. I do think that the Infinity Blend has a lot of merit to it. It's got a lot of back palate, uh, spice action. Uh, there's some savory notes there that uh, are kind of like in that pie crust zone. But, you know, so if, if, if uh, savoriness and spice are your jam, then, you know, Infinity Blend all day long for you. But uh, to me, I really want something that's a little bit more full palate, a little bit more um, associating uh, all over the place and just kind of wowing various points on the tongue. Um, the, the, the winner for me in, in, this, in this flight and it could actually win in a blind tasting for me, and it maybe is just in a just a, just a showing of how much I really enjoy this uh, entry level product. But I just I just think there's something special here with this just standard uh, old elk. I, I really do. I think I think this is possibly one of the top ten values on the market in all of of whiskey uh, for the money. So I just, I'm just such, I, I, I don't want to say I'm disappointed with the Infinity Blend, Infinity Blend, but I think I'm just such a fan of the standard Old Elk that I don't see the jump to meet the quality that's in the standard. And I'm not a brand owner, but I think when you come out of the gate and you have something that's this good at that price, it's hard to come out with a limited edition product that is um, is not spot on. You know, I, it's, a, it's a tough thing to do. But I'm just I'm just tasting whiskey. I'm not a brand owner, so what the fuck do I know? But that's going to do it here, folks. Uh, I appreciate your, uh, your your tuning in. If you'd like to become a subscriber, click that subscribe button. But I appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to grab my favorite glass and give you a toast. Be safe out there. Remember, no licking handrails, no licking trash cans. And vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody.